Hi, I'm Quill Linda with DP News, and we're here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. We meet, we get to meet tons of amazing people within the film industry. For me, I think uh, I I really enjoy meeting people who I might never get to meet from all different walks of life. It, it's rewarding to meet those kind of people because I I just wouldn't be able to. Um, interact with those people how I do in the film industry and I mostly work in documentary so I get to hear all about their life the good and the bad and I feel like it makes me be able to connect with people in my regular life uh, a little more and, and understand people who might be different than me that's a good question um, so my film has to do with a single dad who is he's uh, he's been blind he's been blind his whole life and so he um, he's trying to be the best father he can be with his disability, and my my dad was also uh, disabled, and so being able to kind of tell these stories, but it also kind of translates to my life and like kind of honor my dad through showcasing another uh, good father figure is um, rewarding to me, and I th I think makes uh, cinema. It makes it almost like therapeutic for me because I can talk about stuff that I've been through, but it's through someone else's life. So that's a really good question. Tell what you know. Tell your own stories. Don't be afraid to share your voice. You know, your voice is unique and it deserves to be told. It's a hard path. It's a hard industry, but we serve new filmmakers. We deserve new ideas. So just be true to yourself. Thank you. Add on to that. What advice would you give to Latinx? people who would like to be famous one day? I mean, uh, I would double down to that. You know, like, uh, it's harder for uh, the Latinx uh, people that want to make into the industry, and that's why we need, need you the most. You know, we are hardly under, un, under unrepresented, and we need more, so please keep going. I know it's hard, I know it's, it feels difficult, but believe me, if you are true to yourself, you can make it, so don't be afraid. Grab a camera and just do it. Yes. Seriously, don't be afraid. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. Don't, don't be afraid to tell your story. In fact, uh, tell your story. Because telling your story means your ancestors will live through that story. And it's always important to uh, do that. So grab a camera, grab a pen, write it down, yes. tell your story. Your ancestors will be happy. Oh, this is my favorite project by far <laughs> because I, uh, I wore some more hats. I wore a producer hat, I wore an actor hat, writer, and I wore a writer, writer hat, and that was my favorite part. Uh, actually, my favorite part about this project is writing this uh, film alongside this beautiful man right here. Um, but yeah, uh, independent film is uh, amazing because we get to tell stories that no one else gets to tell. We get to tell unique stories that nobody else gets to see. And that is the most amazing thing about festivals like this, is that when you come to these festivals, you get to see people that are telling unique stories, only their stories, and only you get to see them because you chose to be a smart person that came to independent film uh, cinema mm. storytelling places yes, like yes. Santa Barbara Independent Film Festival. Yes. And I'll give it up to him. <laughs> The, the film the film is about a boy who like gets haunted by the mud of a cemetery and it goes on to like just resonate with a series of like supernatural events that happen he reconnects with his mother and it's, it's an amazing amazing story yeah I guess now I have many more friends in the film industry than in my well I actually have friends that are not in that field but yeah, most of them are, are mostly in the, in the field because they kind of understand my reality. And sometimes when you don't know, when you're you know, asking yourself questions or when you don't know something, it's easier to go towards people that actually have answers that will go with you, you know, with what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it becomes, it, in some kind of way, it is your whole life because, <laughs> no, but it's like, it I does. mean, of course, okay, we have our personal lives, yeah. but I mean, when something is your passion and you really live for it, it's it, it, it becomes something else, you yeah. know? So it's yeah. like really this passion of telling yeah. stories and yeah. wanting to like, uh, you know, talk about certain themes or like make people identify with a character yeah. or with a story that we really want to tell so yeah.
And I do also yeah. want to add up that for me, it really helped me to have more empathy, you know, uh, uh, like compassion for the world and understanding more, you know, the people that, that are on earth, you know, as an actress, but also like getting to uh, read scripts that are different from my life. I think that's really something that helped me have a different viewpoint of the world. What's up, DP News? It's your reporter, Santiago. Steven. And Quill. And we had a blast today at the film festival. We hope to see you again in it and now. now.